Hi, my name is Brooke Boddy. I'm a senior at Arizona State University in Lake Havasu City. I'm graduating this semester, which is so crazy to me. So I wanted to take some time and really reflect on all of my experiences here, how I've been able to take advantage of so many opportunities to help grow personally and with my photography business and as a student. And hopefully this narrows down your college decision process and makes you consider ASU Havasu as an option. So let's get started. Okay, a little bit about me. I am 19 years old. I'm a photography business owner. I've lived in Lake Havasu City since I was two years old. So this is pretty much all I've ever known. Um, I have a very close family here in Havasu. My brother is a videographer. My mom's a wonderful artist, like super artistic family. Um, so the experience of staying home has been very positive for me. I have a really encouraging and artistic family dynamic that's really helped me grow but that was just part of my decision for staying here. I've been in love with photography since I was in eighth grade I believe and I knew that I really wanted to make it a career. It wasn't just a hobby for me. It's seriously my passion and I couldn't imagine myself doing anything else. So I knew that I had to do whatever it took to be as successful as possible and really make this work for me. And a lot of that came down to where I was going to college, if I was going to college and how to make that decision. So when I first started thinking about where I wanted to go, I would kind of scroll on YouTube and check out videos of ASU Havasu. And there are a few on there to see what the campus looks like if you're interested in those type of videos. And you could see the different types of students that we have and their majors and the experiences that they have had. But I wanted to make it a little bit more personal, a little bit more in depth um, and have just a conversation with you just that you can maybe put yourself in my shoes and see if this would be a good fit for you and see if that works for you, I guess. Part of my decision to stay in Lake Havasu was the fact that I was so young graduating high school. So I finished high school in three years and I was newly 17 getting out. So I was a little baby and a little bit nervous about going down to the ASU Tempe campus right away. And I always knew about the ASU Havasu campus, but I didn't really think of it as an option because as a 17 year old kid, uh, obviously I was comparing myself to all my other friends and what they were doing. And it just seemed like the right option to leave your hometown, go experience that sorority, dorm life, all that big university stuff that most kids dream about. But I kind of took a different perspective about it and really thought, you know, my situation's a little bit unique. So what's going to help me with my photography business? What would be the best financial decision for me? Um, I'm very close to my family and I knew that it'd be important to stay near them and grow my business with the support of the other artists in my family. And so I figured I would start at Arizona State University in Lake Havasu for just two years. I wanted to transfer after those years and finish my degree down in Tempe. At that time, I thought I was going to be a business major because, you know, photography business, it just kind of made sense. I wasn't really sure what else I would do. Uh, photography school was way too expensive for my budget. Uh, so that was, that was just out of the question. I knew that I would be able to learn the technical side of photography on my own, through experience, through the internet, mentoring, shadowing, all that. So I wasn't really concerned about that. I just really wanted to have a college degree, A, as a backup plan, but B, to really grow myself, my personality, my social skills, you see how I can possibly make myself better because I knew that that would directly reflect on my business and my success in that area and all my clients are here. I've been growing a client base since middle school, so it would be kind of silly for me to drop all that and go to college in a different town. So there were a ton of different elements involved with why I chose to stay here, but I'm just gonna go through like each year and kind of explain how I was able to finish in only three years, maintain a 4.0 GPA and above, 
be super involved with clubs and volunteering and social activities all before COVID, of course, everything has changed now, which is mind blowing, like how different everything is. So I hope that by the time you're going that things will kind of be normal. And I can only really share what my experience was like pre COVID. So you'll see a bunch of like pictures and videos of activities and events that I've been in been part of, but we weren't wearing masks or social distancing because COVID wasn't a thing during that time. So that's a little disclaimer. <laughs> I guess I'll just start from freshman year. So my main goal was to be like as involved as possible. So I went to every single welcome week event, tried to meet every single person. What's really funny is the very first person that I sat next to is now a client of mine for a wedding that I'm doing in June. So you never know who you're gonna meet, you never know who you're going to network with. And I just wanted to make the most out of it because I had assumed that I was only gonna be there for two years, but now it really paid off because I decided to stay there. So I've grown some really strong relationships there. In addition to being super involved with that first week, I immediately wanted to get my foot in the door with photography. So I would be meeting with um, some of the staff and professors there. I would just basically volunteer to capture any sort of social event and activity and post it to my Instagram, kind of tag the main ASU page. They saw my stuff once once I started like getting more involved, like they actually followed me now, which is really cool to think about. But that's how I really got started. So not only did the photography help me with my portfolio and kind of building that relationship with the school, but I also started to get more involved with like my social life. So I was kind of multitasking because it's hard to, you know, balance your life all at once as a college student. Freshman year was great. I met a lot of friends. Unfortunately, a lot of them did transfer after the first year or two, cause that was just part of their plan. It was like a stepping stone, which is totally okay. Like that's what a lot of people use this campus for. But I was like, I made the decision freshman year, like the first semester to stay. And so it was kind of sad that some of them left, but I made new friends in, you know, the older grades and everything like that. So it was all good. As far as my major, I am now a communications major. So I started off, like I said, as a business major, but that first semester was not really that great for me. <laughs> I didn't really like the business classes. I looked at the major map for the next few semesters and I was like, this isn't really for me. Part of that decision was because my career field doesn't necessarily require a degree. So I knew that I wasn't going to be motivated to graduate if I wasn't in a major that I actually enjoyed and could find myself, you know, just studying for a while and not like want to drop out. <laughs> okay, so the communication major is a little bit of like everything. It's marketing, it's social media, it's like the psychology behind business, um, a lot about photography, film, TV, advertising. So it was right up my alley. But I think what's really, really cool about our campus is that, you know, you don't obviously have every single elective for every major. Uh, we would need a lot more professors for that. Like hopefully it'll grow that big one day. But for how it is now, you are able to take different classes in like multiple different majors. So you get, like for me, I was doing a lot of classes in organizational leadership. I did some in business, you know, you could do some in psychology or like similar majors that aren't necessarily for your degree, but they can serve as electives. And I think that that's great because you're getting so well-rounded in so many different things. But yeah, so that major was perfect for me and I love it. I really gained a lot from it specifically for my photography and it was the perfect choice. Once I switched to a communication major, I felt a little bit more stable in my decision to stay at ASU Havasu. You know, those freshman feelings when you're like, oh my God, did I make the right decision? Are my friends doing better things than me? Like, am I gonna be a loser? Cause I stayed local and didn't move off to some big city. Like I definitely thought through all of those layers and that's totally normal. Like you might be feeling that same way. 
Uh, but I have no regrets going here at all. I think that it was a really, really perfect fit for me, especially for my job. So after that first year, I was so involved with photography that they offered me an internship. So this was to kind of manage the social media accounts with Abby Anderson. She is the social media manager, I guess you could say there, but she does like so many other things. So Abby's like the queen of ASU. Um, but I got to work with her, which was really cool because she was one of my like first friends that I had at the campus before she even graduated. It was really a unique experience because I was able to work on the social media like by myself sometimes. Like I had full control over what was being posted, of course with Abby's permission. And I was able to, you know, create events just to create content, if that makes sense. So I just, I felt so like important at that school because it's so small that you really have the opportunity to grow in whatever area you're passionate about. And everyone there is just so supportive and willing to help you with what you want to do that it's really up to you, like how involved you want to be, how successful you want to be, how driven, how motivated. This school is a perfect opportunity for someone who really wants to get their work done, who wants to take advantage of as many things as they can to grow, whether that's personally in their business, um, just building a network. I don't think that I would have had at all like a similar experience at a different campus because for me as a photographer, I would blend in so easily at a larger university where here I was kind of standing out because I was like the only photographer that was there. So if you're not a photographer, obviously you'll find something that you really love to do. Uh, a lot of students start their own clubs here. They start projects with the city. We're very, very, very involved with the community. And all of that really taught me like a new perspective on how to view your hometown too, especially if you've grown up here. I know that when you're in high school, like the main goal is like, oh my gosh, I need to move out. I need to get away. I need to start fresh. But I think that a lot of that emotion kind of comes from high school and not necessarily like the town that you're in. It really taught me to be super like humble and appreciative about where I'm at and to make the most out of what you have before growing and expanding to bigger and better things. So I was trying to just be as involved as possible, meet a bunch of community leaders, focus on my personal social skills, all those soft skills we would do. This one class, freshman or sophomore year, it was all about like interviewing and building your resume and learning how to just present yourself as a professional person in the business world. And I think those skills are so highly valued and kind of with, with all the social distancing and stuff now, it's kind of dissipating. So if you have the ability to, you know, communicate with others and build solid, healthy relationships with your coworkers or your family or uh, learn how to just sell yourself in business like i think that those skills are so valuable and i was able to just grow so much grow is like the only word i could think of because it was such a healthy experience for me to stay at this campus a part of that too was because i didn't have as many distractions so you think about being in a new town being at a super large campus, being away from your family, it's a new environment. There are so many elements going on at once, you know, trying to pay for yourself, trying to survive. Like, I don't know if I would even be a photographer today if I didn't stay in Lake Havasu because I was able to kind of block out the world, just focus on school, focus on me, focus on my photography, focus on being involved and growing myself as a professional business person that I just am so thankful for the strong relationships relationships that I have built at this campus. A huge part of college is building a network. And since we are so small, it is like a family here. So everyone knows each other, everyone calls each other by first name. And that might freak some people out. Like I get if that's like not your thing, but for me, I love really personal 
uh, family-like dynamics, especially for college, that was really awesome. You always have like a study buddy, you'll always have group projects that you can really enjoy and actually succeed in versus group projects that you hate. <laughs> so, you know, being so close to everybody at this campus, having a lot of time to build super meaningful and powerful relationships with a lot of the students and professors here, I think that's what college is all about, you know, like making those life lasting friendships and building a professional network that could really help you in your career. So I could talk about ASU forever. I'm rambling. I'm so sorry, but this campus has just been the perfect fit for me. So when I got into my sophomore year, I started just loving the idea of getting ahead because I thought, you know, my job was kind of growing. Um, I was building a larger client base and really needed to be at work more than I needed to be at school. So I was like, how can I finish my degree a year early? Uh, I knew that it would take a lot considering I'd already gone through that process in high school. And now this being college with a lot harder classes, a lot more study time, but to me it was worth it. And um, I just, the thought of like graduating in two months from now is just mind blowing. So if you wanna be in this position by the time you're a senior, I would highly recommend following my plan. <laughs> I met with my advisor, figured out my schedule and it was possible because what I did was really loaded up on credits those first two semesters, like took as much as I humanly possibly could without going insane. Um, I went a little bit insane, but it's okay. I had my family to support me. <laughs> I knew that graduating early would take like a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of, you know, motivation and drive to really finish that dream of mine. But with all those distractions not happening, like if I were at a larger campus, it was just possible for me to go into the student center and not a ton of students would be there. I'd have my own space. I'd put my headphones in. I'd just get to work. Like, it's just about how much effort you want to put in and if you're thinking about your future. And I chose like my 20s over those awkward like 17, 18, 19 years. Um, because right now I'm 19, I'm turning 20 in April, graduating in May. I'll have like my full 20s to just work on myself, my career, be completely debt free by the way. Let's talk about the financial side. I could not afford Tempe at all. <laughs> I have the best parents in the whole world, but they were like, honey, I'm sorry, you have to pay for your own college, which totally respect them and understand and probably was the best thing that happened to me because it taught me the value of money, taught me the value of, you know, working for yourself and saving up. I was able to pay off my first car because, you know, saving money, staying at home, they don't charge me rent to live there. So that was a blessing. If you do want to live on campus, we do have dorms here, but that would be, you know, a little bit more money added, of course but nothing compared to any other campus. Uh, everything is just so much cheaper here. The tuition was beyond cheaper. So for me, I was like, I can basically go to college for free. I have no debt right now at all, which is like such a blessing. I can't even wrap my head around that. But scholarships were a huge part of that. So when I was graduating high school, I wrote like as many essays as I possibly could to get those scholarships. And most of the time, people just don't write the essay. Um, like this is just kind of a funny one. I got <laughs> like I think a thousand dollars from like a Catholic school. I'm not Catholic. So it just goes to show you that you can get like kind of random scholarships if you just put in the effort and write that essay. So scholarships, I would highly recommend. Um, but you really can't go wrong with choosing here financially. That was like a huge, huge um, driving factor in my decision. Not something you really think about when you're like 17, 18 years old. You just think about like the college experience and all that fun. But I am just so excited to just be entering my 20s with like that weight lifted off my shoulders. And instead of 
drowning myself in like a nine to five job now when I get out trying to pay off loans. I'm like directly starting into my career, which is like, like I said, crazy. Let's see, I have little notes too, so bear with me here. Oh, okay, also I was able to get a second internship. So this was with a local photographer and that was right before COVID was happening. So I got to do a couple events with him that was like the coolest experience of my life, honestly. Like you don't get to do this stuff anywhere else. I was, you know, going down the lake with my camera on super fast boats and just meeting so many people like in the boating industry and in this, you know, off-roading industry, all the amazing things that we have to offer in Havasu. Um, if that didn't last long, obviously, because the COVID situation, but being able to work with someone in the profession that I want a career in and getting college credit for that, like that was the best thing that I could have done. Like I would have never learned all of those technical aspects of photography if it weren't for that internship. And it also built my relationship with the other photographer to where now we're gonna be able to work together when I graduate. So highly recommend getting involved in internships because this will build you experience and what you really wanna do. Also, I'm gonna put my little notes down for a sec. I'm very organized today. During my senior year, well, this year, like my last year, I really was focusing on what will help me with my business like right when I'm done too. So I took this marketing class and I was able to create a marketing plan, which was probably the most beneficial thing that I've taken away. Um, just learning how to really apply all of the college concepts to my business in like a lot of my classes. Like I took advantage of any project I could to tie in photography to it. Like that's how small the campus is. Like you can just talk to your professor and be like, hey, can I do this? This will help me with my life. Yes, <laughs> like it's that simple. Um, I was able to do a business plan as part of my senior capstone um, with Dr. Mann and she was able to just really open my eyes to what's my future gonna look like? What does it take to get there? What are all the things that I have to consider? Um, you know, competitors moving somewhere else. Uh, that was just so detailed and so helpful for me to just kind of stay focused. And I think that since I was able to do those things, I am now in such a better position as a photographer and as a business owner. And I would have never had that education or experience or opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with her um, if I didn't go to college and if I didn't stay locally, if I wasn't saving this money. Um, so I just, I think it's so amazing that I was able to really follow my dream and follow my passion by staying here. Oh, also, this is kind of fun. So they have the Pitchfork Awards. Um, they haven't done them because of COVID obviously, but since I was so involved, like they had a little ceremony and they gave um, students Pitchfork Awards if they were actively participating in a lot around campus. So there are a bunch of fun like events and activities that you know you can do here. There are like, well, before COVID, sad. There were so many like kayaking, paddle boarding, boating, beach days, like you can go off-roading here. You'll see in all the other videos of what the lifestyle is really like here. But I also have, you know, I have my like Havasu friends that I grew up with that are still here. I have friends that went off to different colleges that come back sometimes. Since I'm saving money, I can travel and see them more. I really loved having like a separate life at ASU, separate friends, like people from all different states, all over the world actually. Um, uh, just like building a whole new network of friends there. I felt like I was in a different city, even though I grew up in like Havasu and I was here, like the campus is so beautiful. And so like, it almost feels isolated there from like the rest of the town, which is a good thing because when I would go there, I was like, you know, this is college, like this is my separate life. So even though I'm in the same town, I still felt like I went away. And another thing that I was involved in was this leadership camp for middle school students. So this just like melts my heart. I'm so emotionally attached to leadership and helping kids grow during those younger years because that's when I got started with photography. And when I went to middle school here at Thunderbolt, 
they had teen leadership and it was, I think like quarter long classes, but I ended up taking it like so many times cause I loved it. Uh, learning leadership skills when you're in middle school, learning how to do public speeches in front of huge audiences as a kid, uh, relationship building, team building. I developed so many valuable skills at that age that gave me the confidence to chase after my dream job. Like I think that that is so powerful that I had um, just like the trust in myself to know, hey, I can do this if I just like put my mind to it. I, I want to do that for other middle school students. And I had the chance to work with Dr. Mann again and Jenna Louder with this leadership camp. One of my friends, Kylie, that goes to school with me here and just kind of share all the skills that I've learned in college and how leadership is part of the reason why I've been able to graduate early in high school and college you know, be so like extroverted, like meeting new people, the confidence that I learned from those classes. It's just so powerful to me. It's so, ah, I just love it. I love leadership, I love kids. So, you know, like there are so many different clubs, different events, different activities, things that you can start yourself that will just kind of feed your passions and you can make it your own. Now that I've talked your ear off, for the longest time, I'm so sorry, but I, I really wanted to make this as personal, um, just kind of like an open conversation if you were to call me. So I have had a couple of people reach out to me on Instagram, whether they're old friends from high school, like a little bit younger, some people I don't even know, just say, hey, like I'm thinking about going to ASU Havasu, do you have any regrets, like staying in town? What was it like? Um, do you have any friends there? Like what what's going on? Uh, and this is kind of like how the conversation goes when I'm on the phone with them. And so I figured if I'm making a video, this is just something that you can kind of find and watch on your own. Ooh. Okay. Also, since I, w I have to keep going back to my notes cause there's, it's hard to summarize like three years in like half an hour or whatever. I've been talking for half an hour. So we'll see how long this video ends up being. Um, I was able to connect with the Tempe like media producers there. They came to the campus here in Havasu and I was able to show them all the things that I've done with the social media accounts here, all the photography that I've done. I've had some of my work end up on the walls at the campus here, which is like so cool that I literally like made my mark on the campus. A lot of my pictures, well, like all of the pictures in the uh, faculty uh, professor's office, those are all mine. My mom's painting is in the front. Like this is how involved I've been at this school. You guys have no idea. Um, I love it here. <laughs> Even if you feel like you're not a part of the Tempe campus, you really are. They offered to, you know, take us to the football games there. Like there are so many ways that you could connect with those larger campuses. Just cause you're at this campus doesn't mean that you are separated. You are still at Arizona State University. Your degree will still say Arizona State University. It won't say at Lake Havasu. Like, it's the real deal. It's just a lot smaller and a lot cheaper. And I think a lot better. Um, just my personal opinion. Question time. I'm reading like you're on my computer. It's like right there. So don't freak out if my eyes are going in weird places. What is the lifestyle like at ASU Havasu? Very, very outdoorsy, beachy, active. Um, it's like the ocean, but without sharks here. <laughs> it's, it's literally paradise. Um, my family is really into boating. We go down to Parker almost every weekend and go boating down there. A lot of students are really involved in like volleyball. There are a bunch of clubs that you can get involved in. So I'm in Changemaker, which is like volunteering. Uh, you'll have to volunteer for some of your classes here, which is good because it's great for your um, resume as well. But that's a great club to be involved in if you need service hours. And I'm in outdoor pursuits. Obviously, it was more fun without COVID because we, they, I think they have like moonlight paddle boarding. Like they do a lot of fun stuff. They go hiking in different places like around Lake Havasu. So if you're into anything outdoors, I'd recommend that club. Are there dorms to stay in an ASU Havasu? Yes, there are. I lived at home, so I didn't, I can't like share what that experience is like to live there. I have like spent the night there. I've known friends there. I know what it's like and I loved it. I thought it was like really fun. Uh, they're very clean. They're very open, very bright. Um, I would recommend it if that's something you want to do. 
Other social events, like I said, yes, you can be involved in Tempe activities. We have a fitness center. We Oh, I loved to do yoga there. We had like a little like bar, like workout dance kind of class because I did dance in high school. So I was like, yeah, this is for me. Like whatever you're interested in, there are so many things that you can do. Oh, bonfires, uh, like there's a pool, not at the campus, but there's a pool at the LBR that we went to, London Bridge Resort that we went to for like one of the welcome weeks. So if you're like a part of those welcome weeks, you can have fun bonding activities there. Do you get to pick the times for classes? You don't get to pick the times for classes here. I would say that is one of the cons. There's so many pros, but that is one of the cons because if you need to take a class, it's only offered at one time because it's so small. So obviously you wouldn't want to be in a class with like one person, that'd be kind of weird, but um, work around it and worked for me just kind of you know stay on top of your schedule I guess how much harder are the assignments and projects compared to high school I think that our campus here is like a private college honestly like I think that they push you so hard because they're trying to make you the best that you can possibly be so I think that the assignments were very hard but it totally depends on your professor some classes were so easy because they're like freshman level classes, just your general education classes. But once you get up to that senior year, you really have to focus, you have to study. Um, but if you're ever having a hard time, our professors are very approachable. You can ask them for one-on-one -on -one time, which is a huge benefit here. You don't always get that at the larger campuses. You get to really, you know, fast email responses. You get to eat candy with them, hang out with them. Like they're like your friend, which is awesome, so. Is it hard to make connections at such a small school? No, I think that that's completely the opposite. I think it's so much easier to build real relationships when you're around people in such a small environment. How much did cost influence your decision to stay local? Like, I wanna say like 80% of my decision was cost. Like, I am just so thankful that I'm now in the position to where I'm not like struggling financially. You'll just be like mind blown by how happy your older self will be that you decided to save money and stay local so highly recommended um you also another thing to think about if you're saving so much money by the time you're in your 20s and you're a little bit more like ready to travel and like see other places you'll have all that extra cash ready to go on the side to visit your friends at your other colleges see new things kind of figure out what your passion is if you didn't figure it out in college already so i think that it's probably the best decision that you can make Okay, so I think that was it. So sorry if this took so long, but I really, really would have wanted to listen to someone have like a direct open conversation with me about the campus here. Uh, I know that a lot of students do these at other campuses, but there aren't really any about ASU Havasu. So if you have the time, sit back and watch this like a movie. <laughs> Maybe grab some popcorn. I guess you would have already watched it. Another thing, um, which is really awesome that they started, if you go to the high school in Lake Havasu, um, they started this open skill program. There's a video on YouTube that Jenna Louder kind of talks more about, uh, about the details, but you are able to get college credits like directly for ASU, um, which I think is really awesome. So you can already get a head start if that's something you want to do in high school. We also have a shadowing program. That's what Abby does, so you can follow around someone in your desired major for like the whole day and see what it's like to be in those classes and i think that that is so smart that she did that for her senior project because you really don't know what a major is like until you're actively taking those classes so our campus has so many opportunities to where you can get an idea of what you're interested in before you actually commit to something. Overall, I am just so thankful for this campus. Uh, couldn't have asked for a better college experience for me. I'm in such a better position as a person with my family, um, for my career. It was the best decision I could have made and I really hope that this kind of helps you think about ASU Havasu as an option for you. And I just wanted to have a special thanks to Dr. Mann for helping me out with all of these senior projects for me, always being there for me, um, really building that personal relationship with me so that I can believe in myself and my photography and make the most out of my college experience. And also special thanks to all the other professors that have helped me, that I've had a class with. I've made a special bond with each and every one of you. 
even everyone working at ASU, now that I'm, you know, doing photography for the school as far as graduations, when they happen because of COVID. But before I was doing some graduations and actual paid work for the school now, I can't thank everyone enough for helping me in some sort of way with my passion, with my photography, with my major, all the friends that have volunteered to go on crazy photo shoots with me. I just wanted to thank you all for making this process so awesome for me and for giving me a chance to really follow my dream.